Hey guys, Rich here from the rcnetwork.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Hyrax tire from Proline Racing. I've had some time with my two sets of Proline Hyrax tires and also their dual stage foams now in both my Axial Yeti and my Axial Bomber running some U4RC racetracks here in Southern California. I've really enjoyed the Hyrax overall. A little bit skeptical at first when I got to the track, but once I pulled that trigger, I knew for sure that the Hyrax was definitely the ticket for racing on tracks like these. The Hyrax comes in a pack of two with some included open cell foams. Right here's a look at the model number, but as always, down in the video description, I'll take care of you. The Hyrax tire is a large tire and it has traction for days. If we start to look at some of the lug pattern here, you can kind of see like a step down design, it has multiple levels on every lug and it just is a pleasure to drive on the particular tracks that I run on. Now these sidewalls definitely grip into the turns and the tread going across the tire is definitely good for those straightaways. The overall size of the 2.2 version I have here is right about five and three quarter inches. It's a large tire. Width of it measures out to right around two and a quarter inches. So definitely a wide stance, a tall stance, and it'll give you that advantage on the track. The included open cell foam is pretty decent for crawling and low speed maneuvers on specifically brush systems. Once you step it up to a brushless system and start adding some voltage, you definitely wanna step up to the dual stage foam inserts. The dual stage foam gives you that opportunity to run high voltage brushless systems without tearing apart the inner side of the tire. Now you'll notice that it does have a closed cell foam insert and then the outer portion gives you that soft feeling when you're on the rocks or crawling about. Right here, look at the model number, but as always, down in the video description. A look at the dual stage foam insert up close. This thing is definitely nice. It is the perfect size for the Hyrax tire, combining both the width and the height that you're looking for, and it has everything in one package right here. Mounting up a set of Hyraxes is a pretty easy deal. Now I have selected some SSDRC aluminum wheels. These are beadlocks plan to mount those up. Also the things that you'll need when mounting your Hyrax tires, I suggest a set of eight scale buggy tire bands. These definitely help in compressing the bead, getting it in there so you can lock it into your bead lock. Finally, a leather hole punch just to vent your tires. Now venting tires is a little bit of a controversial topic, but I like to vent my tires because it allows dirt, debris, water, and everything else to exit the tire on RPMs. Now with that, it also prevents ballooning tires and several other things when you're out on the racetrack. Now for the size that the Hyrex is, I recommend putting three eighth of an inch holes in the center portion of your tire. Now with that, I just find a opportune area and make a center hole punch right in the center of the tire. Pull the plug out, you can see right there the nice little hole. Move it around to a third and then the final third on the other side. Now that we have the three holes in the outer portion of the tire, it's time to move on to inserting the inserts. So first off, I like to disassemble them. So I've taken the inner portion out and I just go ahead and fold this in half and then in quarters. What you wanna do here is get this thing in here as, as evenly as possible. This is going to ensure a good balanced tire uh, when you're running this thing, especially at higher speeds. Now that it is folded in half inside of there, you wanna just go ahead and move it around to where it's gonna grab onto that rubberized inside and then fold it out to the outer portion. And then you just wanna work it around to where everything is perfectly symmetrical all the way around. You can kind of take a look inside and make sure that everything is perfectly side to side and throughout the tire and everything is nice and even. Now that that's done, you wanna go ahead and take that inner portion, the closed cell foam, and this is the tough part. You kind of have to compress it down and you wanna be gentle with the bead of the tire. You don't wanna stretch that thing out it is rubber and it can stretch out just slightly. So you wanna be fast at this and get it done quick. So I like to go ahead and bend this in half and just basically start shoving it inside there. A 
make sure and get the bead back to where it was. And now you can go inside and start checking where the white portion is versus the blue and just start moving things over so everything is perfectly lined up. So I gave the Hyrax tire and dual stage insert a once over, made sure everything was symmetrical, that there everything is perfectly balanced as much as you can uh, to start out building the wheel now inside of the tire. So right here, I went ahead and disassembled my SSD RC wheel. Your wheel may vary, so definitely check the manufacturer's suggested install method. And right here we have the inner ring, we have the outer portion and the inner portion, and then finally some screws. And I like to use Loctite on all of the screws going into aluminum. Just keeps them safe, especially when you're out on the trail. So let's go ahead and start assembling this thing up and see how it turns out. So right here, we're gonna grab the inner ring and we're gonna go ahead and insert that into that dual stage insert. This is gonna go all the way on the inside. And sometimes it's a little bit tough getting in there but you have to be rough with it. Get it in there and it'll be secure. Same thing with the inner ring. You wanna make sure it's perfectly symmetrical, both fore and aft, and just make sure you have a good solid connection for once you start mounting up your inner and outer portion of your wheel. Now that the wheel ring is inside of there, it's time to grab our tire bands. I've just found this useful on the Hyrexes specifically. Uh, different tires may vary as I pull it off screen here to wrap the tire band around. And what's this gonna do is it's going to create a little bit of, of slack inside of here. So when you're grabbing that bead on the bead lock, it's gonna go in there with no issues of it pulling out. So this isn't a required item, but it definitely helps in the mounting of these Hyrax tires. They are such a large tire and the tire band just kind of helps that situation a little bit. So right there, those both are on now. Now it's time to go ahead and grab the inner portion of the wheel or the outer portion, I should say. And we're gonna go ahead and line this up here and you can kind of feel like a, 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 a grab of the bead right there. And that, that's a good thing. So we're gonna go ahead and insert this on in. And these SSD wheels are a little bit particular because they have a notch that these wheels have to ride inside. I have it all notched in. What's really nice about the Hyrax tires is there's a perfect bead section right here. And as I start to go around, I just wanna make sure that it is fully going out to the edge of the wheel and we're getting a full capture of that bead. So I have it all the way locked in right now. The portion now that gets a little bit difficult is flipping this over, keeping pressure on the bottom of that wheel and then adding the inner portion, lining up the wheel pattern or the bolt pattern and then just adding this on in. As we look here, we're getting the bolt pattern matched up. And then once again, making sure that the bead is capturing on that inner ring. Go ahead and pull it a little bit. There we go, perfect. So now I went ahead and got one of the screws started and I just put it in about a quarter way. I wanna make sure that everything is lined up before I start tightening anything down. Now just with like your traditional one-to-one -one vehicle, you wanna do it in a star pattern. So I have this screw right now, I wanna go ahead and go onto this one, then this one, and then keep rotating throughout the triangular portion of the six bolt pattern here. Now that I have three bolts in, about a quarter way in, you can go ahead and tighten down these three bolts, get everything cinched down, and then add the final three bolts in just to tighten it all up. everything buttoned up on the back side of the wheel. Time to go ahead and take off the tire bands. This will kind of allow everything to kind of relax here and, and, and become a wheel and tire now. And as you are tightening down those screws that hold the beadlock together, just keep double checking that bead that nothing has kind of fallen out. And as you can see here, the Proline tire is just perfect uh, to these wheels. And it, it just makes for a very good mate um, when mounting these things up. So excellent few tips here from the RC Network. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial video and also uh, take a look at the Hyrax 1.9 tires compared to the 2.2. Also got a set of those, but just to give you an idea of the size difference between the two. 
Well guys, that is it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video on the Hyrax tire, the dual stage foams from Proline Racing, and also a quick little tutorial on how I mount up my Hyraxes. Well guys, that is it for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. There's lots of things coming every week. As always, comments, questions down below, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.